All right, coaches, I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk you through another uh, counter play here. I thought I'd first uh, start off with a drawing here um, where we're just going to be – it's a standard 4-2, and there are going to be some scrape exchanging. And this is a fantastic look at, uh, from our offense of line and logging and kicking out. Uh, so you'll see this defensive end is going to weld on uh, the video to the down block, and this linebacker is going to scrape exchange. Now, one of the things I'd like to point out is that out here they do have three on two. Uh, the overhang has leverage on our wide receiver. He's going to get inside, but I want to talk a little bit about the hallway and the importance of the hallway between the uh, the kick out and the wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and pull over the video here. Uh, you'll notice that the slot in the bottom here uh, is going to run in uh, motion, and uh, we're going to go ahead and kick this play off. He's going to start in. He's going to go behind. Now, they do have an opportunity if the quarterback sees that defensive end disappear, backside defensive end that he can pull it and obviously we're running this probably should have, after looking at this and we have tagged this before with some slant action here what we're going to see here is this down block takes place and this defensive ends coach very well and our offensive guard has to log him now here comes your backer and scrape exchange now our interior wide receiver while he's hustling trying to get there he's having a very difficult time getting there but our running back has been schooled to get your foot in the ground and get upfield and here's going to be your hallway so we do have the log and now the wrapper is going to end up trapping. So we tell our rappers, the rappers become trappers if your defender comes in here. Uh, so that outside linebacker or that, I'm sorry, that interior backer scrape exchange off the down block with the weld. And now the right tackle is going to kick. And there you have your hallway. Now, it's also important to note here, it, one of the reasons why this play is so successful is on the front side here between the uh, left tackle and left guard. This combo is going to do a fantastic job getting a vertical push, denting the front side. Uh, and they're going to get a nice little drive here and off of this down tackle. In fact, they do such a nice job. It's good contact by the guard to get the weld uh, by the defensive end. The scrape wrapper becomes trapper. They're still engaged on the combo block. They're going to stay. Uh, one comes disconnected, and now they feel pressure going away, so they continue to move. The running back is savvy enough to get upfield, uh, and we end up scoring a touchdown on this particular play. I'm going to go ahead and walk it back here because I want to talk about this idea of the hallway. Um, so the hallway is where we're going to ask the running back to run or quarterback uh, to run. Uh, and so now this right here, the wrapper, has become the trapper. And so our hallway is set. And now once the hallway is set with the down block and the kick out, and, you know, Pierce would say we'd like to see that headgear inside for sure, no doubt. Um, no one outside of that hallway can make that particular play. Um you know, the quarterback probably uh, needed to maybe, uh, you know, take advantage of uh, the, that defensive end uh, uh, dipping in there. But in the end, it ended up being the right call because we ended up scoring a touchdown on this particular play. Uh, do a decent job. Obviously, the running back sees daylight and he scoots it.